In this video, I will discuss about alpha, beta and gamma diversity and few important information about their measurement. The number of species found in a community is a measure of diversity at its simplest level. Diversity is a single statistic in which the number of species, that is richness, and evenness are compounded. Richness is defined as the number of taxa, that is species in a, in a community, and evenness describes how uniformly abundance, that is individuals, are dis distributed among those taxa within a community. More equitable abundance distribution means higher evenness, which all has already been described in my earlier video. Diversity, that is species diversity, is conventionally described in three progressively larger geographical scale. Alpha diversity is uh, for community scale, beta diversity is diversity among communities, and gamma diversity is for landscape scale. So this is a Venn diagram and of two habitats. So alpha richness is the number of species found in each species. So this is alpha diversity for habitat one and this is alpha diversity for habitat two. Beta diversity is the number of species uh, unique uh, to each habitat. So just this common portion have to remove bit for beta diversity. Beta diversity is measures that alpha diversity of uh, alpha diversity minus the alpha diversity that is number of species found in one habitat that is habitat one minus species common in both habitats plus number of species found in habitat two minus number of species common in both habitats and gamma diversity is the cumulative total the cumulative total for for two habitats so diversity at uh, each of these levels is connected and changes at one level of diversity can lead to changes at other levels. So alpha diversity refers to number of species in uh, a single community that is number of species, say songs bird or herbaceous plant species in a habitat, say a deciduous forest. This diversity comes closest to the popular concept of species richness and can be used to compare the number of species in different ecosystem types. This is a hypothetical and simple list of bird species found in three distinct habitat uh, such as deciduous forest, a mixed pine forest and a golf course. The number of species we found, we find gives us the alpha diversity for each ecosystem. For example, for habitat one, total seven species, seven bird species are found. So the alpha diversity is seven. Similarly, for beta, uh, for habitat 2, 6 species are found, so the alpha diversity is 6. And for habitat 3, 5 species of birds are observed, so the alpha diversity is 5. Beta diversity refers to the degree to which species composition changes from an environmental gradient. It is the amount of change or turnover in species, that is species gained or lost, in, in going from one habitat to the next. Beta diversity is high when different habitats are uh, supporting very uh, uh, different suites of species and the cumulative number of species recorded uh, increases rapidly as additional habitats are censored, but is low when 
uh, low if the, if the same species are found across habitats. So if we again see the hypothetical example of uh, see the hypothetical example of a bird survey in three distinct habitat and if we uh, consider beta diversity for uh, uh, habitat uh, 2 and it, uh, habitat 2 habitat 1 and 3 what will we find so for habitat 1 and habitat 2 3 so we just compare beta diversity for habitat 1 and habitat 3 so if we closely see the list of bird species we'll find that this cardinal bird species is common so the unique uh, number of species found in habitat 1 is 6 and habitat 3 is 4 so beta diversity is 10 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 if we use the formula we have discussed then the total number of species of habitat 1 minus common both that is one is one species is common and plus similarly for habitat 3 5 is total species minus common so this also comes to 10 likewise you you can solve beta diversity uh, of between habitat 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 gamma diversity this applies larger geographical scale and defined as the rate at which additional species are encountered at geographical replacements within a habitat type in different localities. Thus, gamma diversity is a species turnover rate with distance between sites of similar habitat or with expanding geographic area. So, it is the cumulative number of species observed in all habitats of a region. So in other words, it is the taxonomic diversity of a region with several ecosystems. So if we again see this hypothetical example of bird species in three distinct habitat, you will see uh, for, you will see for uh, say uh, gamma diversity, of these three habitat you will find here seven and now this if we will see that this is unique that is uncommon species between habitat one and two and also this so seven plus 2 now if I compare this habitat 1 2 and 3 we'll find here also this is unique and this so 3 so the gamma diversity among habitat 1 2 and 3 is 12 So it is the cumulative total for all habitats. Now diversity among communities. The first we know that gamma diversity refers the total number of tax taxa among the communities. Here the three communities, different communities, a different set of communities shown in row. So, uh, 
and uh, mean alpha is defined as the mean number of taxa within communities averaged across all three communities and beta quantifies how uh, compositionally dissimilar communities are and is maximized when communities are 100% distinct and beta equals gamma uh, divided by the mean of alpha across communities so here three communities you can see then there are also three communities and there are also three communities but for the uh, top row you will identify that the three identical communities because the species of three communities are same so the gamma diversity is three because it is a cumulative total so that as the three species between all communities are same so gamma diversity is three mean alpha is three mean alpha is defined already defined that the number of taxa within communities average uh, across all three communities so this is nine for this is uh, alpha is three uh, this three so this three so alpha total alpha is nine and in these in three communities so nine by three that is three so alpha diversity uh, mean alpha is three and the beta here is minimum because beta diversity is this is that the hundred percent they are similar hmm. so as it is similar so if we uh, beta equals gamma minus mean alpha so 3 divided by 3 is 1 so beta diversity is lowest um, possible value can be so the situation is reversed in case of this middle row if you consider here that the three communities have the different type of species so the gamma diversity is here 9 because all species are different but the mean alpha is 3 because 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 divided by 3 communities so mean alpha is same here but the beta diversity is maximum so here all all three communities are 100% compositionally distinct so beta diversity is maximized in case of bottom row if you see that the gamma diversity is here three four five this is uncommon and six and seven so seven mean alpha is again here three and beta is uh, in between uh, three and one so here two point something so uh, the it, it is the communities are neither 100% distinct or not identical now some important information about their measurement or alpha beta or gamma diversity that species richness should uh, refer native species diversity if we take invasive diverse exotic species then invasive exotic certainly can boost alpha uh, richness but the negative effects are so well known uh, that we do not need to go into them in any any depth counting a large list of exotic species uh, at the expense of native simply is a gross misuse of the concept of alpha, beta and gamma richness. If we go for delta diversity, some information, the delta diversity is diversity between landscapes and epsilon diversity is diversity between biomes. And this question uh, came uh, sometimes ago in in net examination that species diversity uh, of an uh, island depends on what what shape is size and distance from the uh, island to mainland so this type of question arise 
so species diversity on an island is positively related to the size of the island that is as size of the island is increased number of species will be increased species diversity on an island is negatively related to the island's distance from the mainland as distance of an island is uh, to mainland is increased the number of species will be decreased and the uh, the islands uh, with more elongated shapes are those with most valuable species so this is the reference you can read this for more uh, uh, knowledge thank you thank you for watching this video